the National Insurance Clearinghouse. The marketing arm of Brokers Alliance presents a Bravo special video event. March Madness, the final four insurance product in review. Broadcasting live from the All-American Sports Grill in Fountain Hills, Arizona. And sponsored by Legal and General America. And now, insurance columnist and talk show host, Steve Savant. We're talking about one of the next generation's brightest minds when it comes to annuities. He's been on my show, The Business Insurance Zone, several times. Please welcome Eric Palmer. Eric, welcome to the show. I have to say, Eric, we have a lineup for the final four on this. We are all over the board. And I see, there's a couple surprises to me. Oh, yeah. Some the, new players, too? Definitely. And wow. when looking at annuities, it's a little bit different than the segment we, we did on life insurance. We, we can't even necessarily go down from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. there, there's a lot of nuances to these annuity products that, that kind of made me choose uh, them to be part of the final four picks. So um, we're going to change things up a little bit. But uh, these grids, again, as we've mentioned before, they're available through our annuity mm -hmm. department, which is extension 125. You call into Brokers Alliance. We'll run these grids in any way that you'd like to see them. Well, talk about, let's go through the indexing first. And let's do it by bonus rates. Now, people, we, we've had to make our own grids on this right. just because we feel like the, the mass global approach to annuities is not good enough, especially because you said of the contractual annuity, uh, 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 in, uh, not annuities, the contractual imperatives. Right. All those things are different. So let's talk about index by bonus. Well, I'm going to break down premium bonus kind of from my first pick to my fourth. And, and number one for me would be the, the, a new product that just came out from Oxford Life. Oxford has a 10-year surrender contract with a 10% premium bonus. And the premium bonus is, is added up front, not only to the accumulation value on the annuity, but also to the income writer's value that we'll talk about here a little bit later wow. on. But again, it's the only 10-year contract with a 10% premium bonus in the country. Uh, wow. Coming in number two now would be Equitrust Life. Now they've got a 12% premium bonus. Again, I choose them second to the Oxford contract only because their product is a 14 year surrender. So Oxford mm -hmm. coming in at number one, 10% bonus, 10 year contract. Uh, Equitrust coming in number two with the 12% premium bonus. Um, number three in the lineup here would be North American. And we, we choose them not just because of the 10% premium bonus that they have on their, their contract. It's a 14 year surrender with their charter series product, uh, but also they're A plus rated. So mm -hmm. when you're looking for a carrier that has one of the higher ratings in the country. North American is definitely one of them, and with a 10% mm -hmm. premium bonus on a 14-year product, uh, it's a good fit for a lot of clients. Wow. Um, number four would be uh, American Equity, and we've known this product, we've seen this product for a lot of years now. It's, it's uh, uh, the Bonus Gold. It has a 10% premium bonus as well on a 16-year chassis. So again, you can kind of see the order I went in there. Mm -hmm. All top premium bonus products in the country starting from 10 to 12%. And I kind of broke them down again by surrender schedule. Am I? Is it my imagination, or has the ten year, ten percent bonus carriers giving that out sh kind of sh shrunk a little bit? Well, that's a, that's a great point. Actually, it's it's nearly gone away completely. Right. These literally are some of the only companies that we have that have a ten percent premium bonus. And at the end of the day, what's most important is mm -hmm. is to remember that. The reason these are changing is because of the low interest rate environment and also the NAIC changed the rules a little bit. The carriers have to build these products on 10-year surrenders in a lot of the states now, so they can't afford to give out the pre premium bonuses, which makes our list narrow. Wow. Well, let's go to index by, by um, annual point-to-point -point caps, which is going to be a little debatable, but I'm not going to do it in this show. <laughs> Let's just do index annual point-to-point -point caps and tell me who the players are. If you're talking to consumers out there that are looking for uh, pure rate, they want to see mm -hmm. an index annuity, they like the, the downside risk protection, but they actually are really interested in uh, the top caps or the top opportunity for growth, then, then we've got a few carriers to, to mention here. And number one would probably be a Athene annuity. Now, for a lot of you that yeah. don't know Athene, mm -hmm. they're the ones that bought Liberty Life, who, who was sold by RBC. So last year, and the year before we were familiar with selling RBC products, uh, it's now Athene. Mm. And very good company, they have a, a, a very good growth model, and their caps right now are phenomenal. They have a product called the Choice 10, it's a 10 year surrender schedule, paying a 5.5% cap on an annual point to point on the S&P. So again, 5.5%, wow. a couple of years ago we weren't saying that was very good, but in, in this rate environment that's, that's the mean, best we've got. Honestly, what are the average? I mean, it's like a point or two points down. Oh, it's, it's anywhere from, from two to three points down, and, and what's incredible is that the drop happened really rapid. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of hovering in these lower rates now, but again, 5.5% in the market today, that's, that's a pretty good deal. That's a screaming number. Now, Athene also has an eight-year product. It's the Enhanced Choice 8, mm -hmm. and I bring them up because on a shorter surrender schedule, we're getting a 5.75% annual cap on an S&P. 
S&P annual point to point. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, a very strong cap in, in, in you know, relative to what's out there today, but an eight year surrender. So clients that are looking to uh, maybe go from a variable contract to a fixed, they want to see the same type of surrender uh, schedule makeup, mm -hmm. that would be a great product. Mm -hmm. um, Coming in very close to them is, of course, Fidelity and Guarantee, F&G. We used to know them as Old Mutual, mm -hmm. uh, but F&G is a, a company that has some great products out there. They have a product called the Accumulator Plus. It's a 14-year surrender schedule, 5.5% mm -hmm. on the annual point-to-point -point as well. So you kind of see the trend here, the, the top caps relative uh, to about 5.5%, 6% range. Wow. Well, I'm looking at, when I think about that, that's a lead-leading, I mean industry-leading, rate five and a half point i'm point to point i'm into it what about index by income rider and boy i wish i could spend some more time on this because this is where the market is absolutely going if you're not doing indexed annuities using income riders well who are the players well there's there's, there's a lot of products to choose from in this category and again i kind of broke it down based on not just who's paying the highest payouts all all in but also some of the other features that we're starting to see on income riders because remember um, we don't want to commoditize the income rider. We don't want to create a, a, a situation where we're selling companies strictly on the fact that they're paying out maybe a few extra dollars than the others. There's some additional benefits in these products that we want to point out. My number one pick would be Forethought's Bonus Advantage. Now, they don't have the highest compounded rate. They're at 6% compounded, but what they'll do is they'll let it compound for anywhere between 10 and 20 years based on the age of the client mm -hmm. when they purchase the contract. They also allow it to grow up to 250% and that income account value is also the death benefit value. So if your client pass, passes away anywhere along the line here in this accumulation or after the, taking the income, they potentially have a higher income base to pass on to the beneficiary, which I, I think is a huge, huge now, are feature. Are all the four players that you're going to mention, are they all playing that? Not at all. In fact, uh, they're one of the few out in the country that are actually providing a death benefit mm -hmm. feature relative to, or related to the income writer. So it's a very short list and they're at the very top of it in terms of death benefit and income mm -hmm. all in on the same rider. Uh, coming, coming into my second pick here would be Great American. A-rated company, very strong, we all know them well. Mm -hmm. They have a 10% simple interest on their income and they pay really well in the older ages. So when we're looking for to maximize income, but also have some additional benefits tied to the, to the death benefit portion, mm -hmm. Great American's real close there, they're coming in at number two. Uh, number three would, for me would be uh, Oxford Life. I, I mentioned their product at the beginning, it's a 10% premium bonus, but for only a 50 basis point charge, which is one of the lowest in the country, mm -hmm. they're giving an 8% compounded interest rate. Their payout factors are very much uh, uh, competitive in the market, and they're right up towards the top in terms of overall payout, and they have a good 10-year contract to put the rider on. On the previous two, what is the cost then for the income rider for the other two? Then? Between 75 and 95 basis w points. Would you say that 50 has got to be the lowest of all these buy-downs? Other than the, the last one I'm going to mention, it's absolutely the lowest. The average in the country right now is about 95 basis points. Wow. That's um, Phoenix Life also comes in closer. They have a 14% simple interest. They're better for a long-term growth. But there's a product i got to bring to the forefront here, and it's going to be uh, uh, Oxford Life again. They have a five-year multi-year guarantee mm -hmm. annuity. So a, a short five-year MIGA with a guaranteed interest rate, but with their income rider, it's free. There's no cost to mm -hmm. it, and it's always going to guarantee the client it's going to have at least a five-point spread over the current rate in terms of compounded growth for the income side. So if your client wants to just walk away in five years, they get a guaranteed rate, but if they want to stick around, turn it into income, right now current compounding rates at 8% on the income rider and it's free. So no cost at all for No that? cost at all for that rider. Wow. I think it's a unique product. It's something to look like or to look at when you're we're doing the income riders. I know that there's so many features and I wish we had time to go into it because it really matters when you look at some of the actual con contractual imperatives. So we're just talking about the top four based on these areas of bonus, annual point to point, and income rider. I, I'm wondering, because we're gonna shift gears you know, to MYGA and what right. the rates are on that, but I'm looking at it, these products are so hot right now, and we have studied the indexed market. We have one of the top consultants, we've, she's been on our show so many times, Cheryl Moore, just keeping us surprised of everything that's going on in the index annuity area. Right. Well, let's shift a little gear here, put the clutch in, and let's go to MYGA and talk about it. Well, we're selling a lot of multi-year guarantee annuities, fixed annuities right now, because at the end of the day, what it boils down to is, is marketing edge. We talk about it all the time. Every month we do a monthly update. And I start with these rates because 
when you're out there marketing to, your cons to consumers, you got to ring a bell somewhere. Mm. And, and when you're getting money market rates below 30 basis points, when we're getting uh, uh, treasury on the 10 year below or in and around 2%, Two, yeah. there's not a whole lot of options out there yeah. for fixed rates that are, that are, that are guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So I picked four or my top four on the multi-year guarantee. The first one I want to bring out is a product I just mentioned before. So it's, it's the Oxford multi-year guarantee. It's called the Income Protector. And what makes this product so unique is that currently it's paying 3% for five years. So one of the highest five-year rates that we're going to find in the market today. But they have that free income rider that provides a, a currently the five-point spread, as I mentioned before, currently paying 8% compound. Can, can I make sure we understand this just because I, I think we had a little time just to, to mention it. If I do a five-year hold on this, I have the option then of taking it, taking my money and running at 3% at five, right. or I can stay in for this free income rider because it doesn't cost me. Right, free income right. rider and it's paying 8%. Wow. And what's unique is in certain age classes, let's take a 60-year-old, if I take that five-year MIGA with no premium bonus paying 3% mm -hmm. and I have the 8% compounded on the income side, and I take a 10-year product with a 10% premium bonus and an 8% compound, in five years, I've got the same payout. So why not offer your clients a walkaway vehicle that mm -hmm. also turns into income, so they have the options. It's, it's just another part of a planning tool, or if you're doing annuity laddering, mm -hmm. this is a product you have to be using. This is, a, this is a pivoting product. You have to think about it. Pivoting product, something like this, is really unique, and I want the flexibility to be able to call an audible right. at the end of that fifth year. Good call. What's number two? My number two pick is gonna be the pure top rate company, and they've been leading this for quite some time. Sentinel Security Life, Good little company. They've, they've come out with some annuities here recently and they're ruling the rate spectrum. And it's a pure deferred rate. So we're not talking about a whole lot of mm -hmm. fancy features in the annuity. It's just they have their, their five, their 10, or their seven year product. The five years paying 3.2%. Hmm. Okay. The seven years paying 3.3%. And the 10 years paying 3.6%. So they're, they're leading the category in those five year terms uh, and the seven year terms and 10 year terms. And again, uh, a strong company, pure rate, good commissions. It's definitely one if you're competing against CDs or other alternatives. Wow. I, and that's not a, that may not be a name that our people are really. You know, most producers say, "Gee, I, I've never, I've never heard of Sentinel." But really, they're becoming more and more popular. They're on the street. They're heading out to the blogosphere. I mean, we're seeing them more and more. Absolutely. And and again, these are these are companies that are are you know the first two that I mentioned. They're mm -hmm. they're rated B double plus. So you mm -hmm. know they're they're very strong companies, and we're seeing the top rates right now coming out of B double plus rated carriers. Mm -hmm. So. If, if and this is why leading into my th third pick, if you're looking for a company and you have to be in the A-rated range, A plus mm -hmm. North American, they've mm -hmm. they've always been very very consistent in the multi-year guarantee market. Right now they're paying 3.15 on a 10-year, they're paying uh, 2.55 on the seven-year, and they're paying two percent on the five-year. So not as competitive in terms of rate when you're looking at the first two picks I made, but A plus rated company, mm -hmm. they're always consistent. So if you get into a cycle selling companies. You, you count on North American typically being around and uh, still b beating the banks and, and beating the alternatives. So even on the lower mm -hmm. spectrum of, of annuity rates, you've got the deferred commission or deferred uh, interest mm -hmm. uh, or tax deferred interest that's truly compounding. It's, it's beating the alternatives. Mm -hmm. um, Number four. My fourth pick, Liberty Bankers Life. They're, they're always ruling the seven year and the five years in payouts. Um, not necessarily uh, uh, in terms of carrier rating, but, but definitely mm -hmm. in terms of, of product rate. They're five years paying 3% and they're seven years paying 3.3. Well, I'm thinking if I'm a 3% at five, that's a really huge lockdown for not that long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying five years is not that long. Right. Uh, but five year lockdown at 3%, when you think about it compared to not, not only all the banks, even the best on bankrate.com. I mean, we've seen these numbers. These are major players. If people are in a hold position, they can stay put for 60 months. I mean, 3%. Wow. And we've got marketing pieces on all this stuff. So if you want to put an ad in your newspaper, you want to go out to the internet, to, you know, what have you, uh, contact Brokers Alliance, talk to your annuity representative. We'll make sure we get you some of these advertisements because the five-year CD is at 1.5%. You can show them a five-year annuity at 3%. It's a win-win all day long, and it's a very easy sale to make. And, of course, that opens the door to start talking about other things like managing money, life insurance, mm -hmm. long-term care, as we'll get to in the next segment. So there's a lot to talk about. You can open the door with rates like this. When I think about the show we just did that's on the air, and you can go out to our site, www.brokersalliance.com, hit our on-demand video section, that whole combination annuity show, five days with Ken Davis, that was huge. And we know that a lot of our producers 
not only saw the show, but now they're implementing the modeling based on some of the very contracts we're talking about today for this new idea of income well, using strategies and laddering of annuities. Absolutely, and if you didn't catch the show, we're, we're calling it the modern version of the combo annuity. We're changing things from the old school way of doing it, and, and you have to do that when the interest rate environment is like it is today. Uh, you know, all the economists are predicting mm -hmm. sort of a slow, steady growth, uh, at least for the next four to five years. These combo strategies are really powerful. And again, another thing that you can market to get mm -hmm. more people to talk to, more prospects to introduce these concepts. Now, we're not to. doing the old combo. We're doing now the new modernized combination annuity. It's huge. You can call Eric at our number and extension 125. You're watching the Final Four product review, our annual tribute to March Madness, sponsored by Legal and General America, the company for life. You can download the 2012 Term Life Insurance Report at www.brokersalliance forward slash March Madness. You've been watching the Final Four Insurance Product in Review, sponsored by Legal and General America, Banner, William Penn, your company for life. This has been a Bravo special video event from the media division of the National Insurance Clearinghouse, the marketing arm of Brokers Alliance. Download the 2012 Term Life Insurance Report at www.brokersalliance.com forward slash March Madness.